Spooky Spicy family. I hope you are doing exceedingly well today. Well, I am popping in today just to say hello. And also, I'm getting ready to run out and run some errands and maybe catch dinner in a movie. And I thought, you know what? I haven't put on my makeup, so why not share it with you guys? I really hope that you're going to enjoy it. So, if you'd like to see it, you're going to have to stick around. wanted to also ask you to connect with me on our other social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter. So say hello sometimes, okay? And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Really, really excited that you're here with us and we hope and pray that you will hit that subscribe button, share, like, and comment. My current subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. And without further ado, let's start this beauty routine because I'm hungry. The first thing I do when I am putting on my makeup is I take care of my lips. I use my e.l.f. lip exfoliator and I use this so they can get the dead skin off so that my lipstick, lip gloss, or balm has a very smooth surface and a soft surface to glide on and your lips feel so soft afterwards. So. Here is how I apply the e.l.f. exfoliator, lip exfoliator. You, it's in circular motion, so I may not be able to talk, so I'm gonna kind of show you with my hands, and then I'm gonna apply it. So I go over the top lip and the bottom lip, um, and I leave it on the entire time that I'm putting on my makeup, so my lips are extra, extra moisturized, and all of that dead skin comes off. So here it goes. And that is it and it feels so good because it has sugar it has shea butter avocado butter olive oil and it it glides on good but you can still feel the sugar penetrating your lips and it feels so good once it's once you're done okay my next step is to put my moisturizers on and I use a couple of different moisturizers for different things I use a spot correcting moisturizer which is this one by Shea Moisture I use this one first one because it's all natural and I use any moisturizer or item that is going to treat my skin first before I put on the final moisturizer prior to putting on any pressed powder or anything like that so we're gonna apply this and this is a really light cream um, and that's one of the reasons why I like it see I don't use that much and you can see the creamy texture I don't use a lot at all and one of the things I also do whenever I'm putting on any of my creams I try to move my hands in an upward position um, or motion so that I'm not pulling my skin down for sagging skin and it I don't know if it works but that's in my mind it works so <laughs> let's put this on And I try not to put the moisturizing cream around my eyes because I actually have another cream for that. And plus I'm not trying to remove any spots up under my eye. And I also focus on my neck area because I do have some acne scar in there. And you'd think that by now being 50 years old I would not still have acne, but I do. Okay, first one, done. The second one I use is also a fade cream, but the reason why I use this one is because it has SPF in it, and it is by Palmer Skin Success. I've had really good success by comparing these up with removing the scarring and clearing up any spots and keeping my skin tone as bright and um, toned as possible, I guess is the word that I would look at. It's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's getting there. So I just do a light layer of this as well. And the SPF is good for helping to minimize wrinkling. Actually, I'm gonna start using it on my hands because my hands are starting to show signs of aging. And hey, I'm trying to look young as long as I possibly can. 
that was a tip that I learned from a Mary Kay uh, rep that that would help so we'll see because she said that your hands are in the Sun quite a bit so the Sun's rays of course as we know can when they're in you're in the Sun that light that long can damage your skin which is why you see the wrinkling hands so that is done yes 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 okay we're almost there the next thing I do is I put on my firming cream to reduce the puffiness in my eyes um, this is hereditary so there's not a whole lot I can do about it other than getting proper rest now that is something I don't do enough of so um, we're gonna put that on it's not gonna take long at all and this is how much you can probably barely see it I mean it's like a dot uh, a very small dot the top of a um, maybe the bobby pin the top of the bobby pin and I use my ring finger to apply it very lightly to that entire area and now for the other eye and it is the caffeine in these items that really help with the puffiness I used to use the Mary Kay Time Wise and that worked well. Um, $30 a pop worked well. It lasted a long time, I will have to say it. So I heard about this Revlon, I'm sorry, L'Oreal Revitalift and I heard some really great reviews on it. So I thought, you know what, it's what, $17? I'll give it a try and I'm pleased with it so far. Won't say that I won't go back to Mary Kay, but right now I'm pleased with it. On to the next step. I am noticing that my eyelids and right up under my eyes are starting to look a little dark and I'm probably going to say that has more to do with not getting enough rest because I'm not an early morning riser and I stay up late so you know I've got to work on it I, that's one of my goals this year is to do better with my sleeping but what I'm using is the elf eyeshadow primer to lighten those areas up and also to reduce the shine on my eyelids. I'm going to use the same finger to apply and just pat it in. Since the area up under your eyes and your eyes are so delicate, I use this finger because it doesn't have a, you're just tapping and usually there's not a lot of strength in that finger. so. Just a little more. I try not to put too much because I don't want to look washed out, but I do want to minimize the shine since I do get shine on my eyes because I have combination skin. So, yeah, working on it. And you know what? I forgot I need to put a little bit up under my eye as well. Just a little. This is something that I don't normally do. I'm starting to do this up under the eye. Um, so that's why I forgot. But I do like that it doesn't look as dark. Okay. The next item that I am going to apply is my Bare Minerals Original Foundation Powder. I don't like creams on my skin. My skin has a tendency to break out, especially in my cheek area when I put anything um, creamy on it. So I try to minimize when I use my Complexion Rescue. Um, even though it's by Bare Minerals, I, I really try not to do anything to clog up my pores. And I don't wear makeup every day, but some days I do put some on. So the color that I have is Golden Dark. So you put a little bit on the Kabuki brush pop it off and here we are and I just put this on lightly because I just want a little bit of a glow and an even skin tone don't use a lot at all so I just try to make sure I get it all way to my hairline and I even put a little bit on my eyelids because I want them to have a glow as well and how can you have an even skin tone if you don't put it everywhere right 
so that is as much as I get all right so we are done with that so what do you think I like it so far all right the next thing I am going to do is my brow my brows, I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. I love this pencil. Um, I don't know what I did without it before, but I am in love with this pencil. So what I do is I, of course, brush the brows out to make sure they're nice and neat. It's time for, for them to be cleaned up a little bit, but not too bad. My eyebrows aren't as thick as I would like for them to be. Um, I attribute that to going through perimenopause, my hair even thinned a little bit, so, you know, it is what it is. But what I am going to start doing is I'm thinking about using the Jamaican black castor oil on my eyes and start moisturizing them with that at night while I sleep and see, see if they, they thicken up. So all I do is fill in the front because that's a sparse area and then um, the tail. And that's pretty much it for my brows. I don't spend a lot of time on them um, because I like to look just as natural as possible. Not made up, just put together. And this brow, um, the tail is much, much thinner on this side because I had an injury to this eye, um, unfortunately. So it had stitches and the hair just does not grow the same way on that side, so, yeah. Oops, I'm sorry. All right, I'm just gonna brush these out. Move that color along the line so that it's not too heavy, but looks really natural. So far, so good, what do you think? All right, moving right along, I am going to line my water lines here. So, I always get that confused and say something different, but you know what I mean, right here. And I'm gonna make some funny faces, so laugh with me, not at me. <laughs> I use a dark brown and this is the MAC Stubborn Brown liner. Um, I don't like to use black because black just looks too dark to me and it just to me it just brings too much attention to my face. So I like to use just the brown so it kind of just blends in and just makes the eye pop a little bit but it doesn't overtake the eye if that's what if that makes any sense that's just my preference back in the day I did use black you know when I had you know I was younger but now not so much and the next thing is my trusty old Maybelline falsies volume express mascara my eyelashes are so short I wish I had those beautiful long eyelashes you normally see little boys with <laughs> But I don't, so this this helps bring them out a little bit. Because to me, if I don't put any mascara on, you can't even tell I even have any lashes. So let's do it. And I also use this in a brown. Um, my lashes aren't brown, just like my brows aren't brown. Um, I'm sorry, aren't black. So I like to use the brown so that it kind of blends in to the natural color. And bear with me, I'm gonna have to uh, attack these smaller, these lower ones, because they are really, really short. Don't spend a lot of time on them, just enough to make them a little noticeable. Are you one of those people that had, when you put your mascara on, you open your mouth like, <laughs> I used to do that. I don't know, over the years, I guess I've learned or I don't know, but for some reason I don't do it anymore. Sometimes I do catch myself doing it, but 
And I usually apply two coats. Because they're so short. And I don't know about you, but I actually have, my left eye is the one that always gives me trouble. And it's the funniest thing, I'm left-handed. Why would you not work with a sister? At any rate, we are almost done. The last thing is the removal of the lip exfoliator so I can apply the lip product. So here we are, I'm just gonna take a cotton ball and remove it. And you'll see how pink my lips are. I wish you could feel them, but I'll just, trust me, they, are, they will be soft. So now, all I have to do is put on a little bit of lip liner. And this is the MAC. Can you tell I've had this forever? You can't even see the words MAC on it. I've had it forever, but it's the MAC Current Lip Liner. See how easy that glot that that went on? I mean, it just your product just goes on so easily. And then I just fill in because I just wanted to be just a little darker with this lipstick. And this is the NYC. I picked this up years ago, literally years ago. It's the 428 the Penthouse Plum. I think that's what it says. The writing is tiny. And that is it. So, what do you think? It's really simple. It doesn't take a lot of time. I can get in and out of the bathroom, out the door, and I am on my way. And even if I wear this routine of makeup to a business meeting, I still look put together. So, that's one of the great things about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know your everyday beauty routine. Share your comments below of some of your favorite products. If you know of any natural products that have SPF, especially for um, your moisturizers, uh, please leave those in the comments because that's really um, something I'm looking for. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to follow us on our other social media platforms. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And again, current subscribers, thank you so much for your support and continue to um, share our videos and tell others about the chic, classy, spicy fan. But until next time, keep it chic, classy, spicy. Take care.